Welcome to the blog guys, we're at somewhere very special, a new lake for me. We'll call it the Ski Lake, as a matter of respect to the guys who are fishing here already. And the guys are going to fish here in the future. Look at that out there. It's a massive lake, 40 acres, all massive for me anyway. Long, rectangular shaped lake. Very, very, very few fish in here. No big ones, or well, it's, it's got a low faulty common about the biggest, but what a common it is, what a banger it is. And I fancy a little bit of a change from uh, the Park Lake and from Sandhurst and other places. Just fancy getting away from it all, middle of nowhere, hardly any anglers on here at all, and some proper jewels in the crown to catch. It's going to be very, very difficult. Most people won't fish it because it's so hard. But the fish in here are absolute stunners. They are real, if you catch one, it's a real achievement, believe me. I thought I'd have a little go here. Me and the pork chop, look, he's with me, he's back. Look, here he is, look. He's flat out because of his poor leg. We've just pushed the barra for about half a mile to one of the swims. But we did get over it about three hours ago and we've done the lap of the lake. Done the lap. Over that side, there's a bit of a footpath very few swims on the lake, none dug out and manicured swims. They're all sort of like, put your rods out in the water. You can see down there, I'm gonna to have to climb down to put my rods out. But I did see a fish cruising around out here. And I did see another one a little bit further up to the left. So I thought, middle for diddle, middle of the lake. See what happens, get up early, stay up late, see if we can find them. So it's gonna be a right old challenge. That's for certain. But I thought, well, why not? Why not? Bit of peace and quiet. The old pork chop, he can run around like a lunatic like he normally does, but he doesn't at the moment because of his poor leg. And we're gonna see, see what this beautiful lake, where a few stunning carp live, not many, handful, couple of handfuls, I suppose. But you never know, do you? If you you've got to be in it to win it. And I thought, well, the ultimate challenge, we'll give it a little go. So, guys, Welcome to the blog. Welcome back. We are all sorted. We had to wait a little while because they don't call this a ski lake for no reason at all. They were having a bit of a ski, a ski off out there, doing the old water skiing. But we managed to get the two of the rods are in about 12 foot of water back of bottom of the bars and one's about in about six foot of water I reckon in amongst a load of weed and that so on top of a bar. Uh, hinge stiffies with food bait. I'm using a food bait that's been glugged in the old liquids, the old Pacific tuna liquids and all my bit my liver and all my bits and pieces that I normally use. We've got those on good old faithful hinge stiffies. They're out there sprayed a few baits over all three rods. Everything's up. Look. All up. Bibby's up. Rods are out. And not another person in sight. Look at that. Look at that down there. Look. Another person in sight that way. And not another person in sight down that way either. Lovely, isn't it? So we're going to have an early night tonight. Get some dinner on. A few cups of tea. Early night. Dark in a couple of hours' time get up mega early, get up about five o'clock. Some big lakes like this, this time of year, beginning of May, this is when you're gonna see them, I reckon anyway. Hopefully we'll see some, see what happens. So we'll be able to move, but we're gonna stick in here for tonight. Get up early, see where the fish are, hopefully move on to them. Me and the old pork chop, bless his little cotton socks, he's already asleep in there already, bless him. We'll be doing biscuit of the week tomorrow as well. So I'm going to get sorted out, relax, enjoy the utopia of no one else around. It's just me against the fish. See you in the morning.
Good morning. Five o'clock in the morning. Just on first light. Nothing happened last night. I didn't really expect it to. My first night on a really hard pit. And look at that out there. Proper misty fog of the time, isn't it? Can't see anything. So all my plans of getting up and watching the water and looking down that end of the lake and looking down that end of the lake just haven't materialised this morning. It did get cold last night. It's the beginning of May and it's bloody freezing. No bleeps, no nothing. Oh, hello, look. He, 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 look, here he is. Look, where is he? Look, let's have a look, look. Look at him. Look at it, look, here he is. Barn. Pull chop. There he is, look. There he is, bless him. The old pork shop this morning. He's up and about, old tail wagging, he's loving it. He's enjoying life. There's Rod sat there, look. Look at those, look. He's having a little donder, having a little look about. Look, here he is, look. He's having a little look. We can see his little tail wagging in the bottom of the camera now. Well, yeah, very quiet last night. Had a good night's sleep, went to bed early. Got, well, say early, about 11 o'clock. Didn't hear anything. Didn't see anything, no bleeps, no nothing. And I think I'm just looking up the end of the path there. Is it? I don't know. But I've been watching, I had a look, um, if you look up the end of the path up there, let's have a look, let's see if I can get this camera to go up. Up there. Up the end of the path up there, look at that, look, all misty in that. But. There was a monk jack up there last night. There's a shot on the torch up there, I see his eyes, and just for a dog, I see him moving about. And then when I looked up there, up this end, there was a weasel running around and some, some rabbits and loads and loads and loads of wildlife. It's brilliant. And I haven't seen a soul. I have not seen a soul. It's brilliant. No one coming for a cup of tea. No one. Casting in their marker float next to me. No one baiting up next to me. No one casting across my lines from the other side of the lake. Brilliant. Tranquility. Tranquility. Lovely. Right, so we're gonna get the first cup of cup of tea on this morning. Always good the first one. I'm gonna wait for this mist to clear. So we can see anything. Give it to about midday. If we ain't seen nothing, reel in. Go and have a look about, see if we can find them. See if we can find some fish. Maybe have a move. Don't know. If we can find them, we'll have a move. If not, we'll stay where we are. Well, welcome back. That mist finally disappeared this morning. Uh, that's all gone now. Beautiful morning though. It's just lovely down here, isn't it? Look at that sun, bright as anything on here. Bright as anything. So we've had a, we've reeled in, reeled in the rods, done a lap, didn't see anything at all. Nothing at all in the edges or anything like that. It's about one o'clock now. It took about an hour, hour and a half to have a walk all the way around looking underneath all the trees and the gaps and all that type of stuff, but didn't see anything at all, which surprised me. I thought we might have seen one, because we see that one yesterday up to the left of the lake up there. So we're just about to wrap up, as you can see. There's Paul Chop. He's gonna be coming with me. He's enjoying himself. So we're gonna wrap up, pack all the gear away, Go and get the rods, put the waders on again, go and get the rods. And we're gonna have another look round, but I suspect 
I'm going to try up that end, the far end of the lake, just for something different, just try something a little bit different. I suspect that's the deeper end, and that end up there is the shallower end, but I don't really know, but it's still loads and loads of bars everywhere and features, and seen so many bloody bits of wildlife. It's, um, it's lovely, it's really nice to see. And I didn't see no one. Not seen a soul, which is absolutely stupendous, isn't it? Right, we're gonna wrap up, we're gonna get sorted, we're gonna get up that end, catch you in a minute. Okay, <laughs> right, welcome back. Now, you're never gonna believe this. Typical of me, right? I pushed the barrel around in the new swim, and I thought, hang on a minute, I'll just go and check on one of the other lakes, because there's about five or six lakes here on the same ticket. I'll just go and check, just for peace of mind, because I've been keeping an eye on this other lake as well, just to see if I see any fish cruising about. So I come onto the other lake, and I see fish everywhere cruising around. I'm thinking, oh, I can't, I can't pass it up, you know? Because there's some lovely fish in this one as well. So we're on a different lake, a totally different lake. Unbelievable, I am, and I. Me and him in there, me and the pork chop in there. Look, look, you're just about to see him in there. We're on a totally different lake. Unbelievable. So I've got all three rods out, I managed to get them out, and all I've got to do is a bit of spotting over the top now. But look, you may notice, just have a look there, look. Have a look down there. I get asked quite a lot, why do I put my rod tips in the water? Well, there's a very good reason for that. On this particular lake, there's a lot of this floating weed. Look, if you can see it, there's my rod tips, look. There's my rod tips in the water. And look at this stuff, look at this, look. Look at this, horrible, floating. And that gets all in your lines, that does. And it clogs it up. And if you get a bit of wind, it just tugs all your hook baits off the spots. But it's a little bit weedy out there anyway. So I'm about 60 yards out, I found a couple of nice hard patches, back of a plateau, and on top of a bar to the right where I've seen them cruising as well. In about four foot of water, the others are in about six. So all I've got left to do is spot a bit of gear out and we're rocking. I just want to run through the mix that I use, or the mix I'm using at the moment, this time of year, early, early May. I use the old Ridge Monkey boilie crusher, but I put the little plate on, the one that gives you like a powder, it chops up the boilies, gives you a carpet out there. So I've got a load of powder, a load of carpet feed, I've got a load of bits of chops, I put some 10 mil Pacific tuna in, some 15 mil Pacific tuna in as well, and that's my spot mix. So the life system is very light, so it lays on top of the weed, especially the powder, especially the crumb, the boily crumb. The little bits, they fall through the weed. So I've got all different size, all different shapes of the two boilies combined. That is what my spot mix is gonna be. That's what I use this time of year. Within the next month, I'll be going just over to the Pacific Tuna. Unless this keeps on working, I might just go all the way through with that mix, that live system Pacific tuna mix. Right, I'm gonna get spot in, I'm gonna get salt in, then we're gonna have a biscuit of the week. Look at that. Welcome to Biscuit of the Week. This week I've got something a little bit special that someone gave me. I think it was at the Ipswich Birds Tackle Open Day, oh, about six weeks ago. That's how long it's taken me to get through all the other biscuits of the week. But if not, I apologise, but thank you very much whoever gave them to me. Toffee Pops, look at those. Look at those bad boys, look, Toffee Pops. They look a bit special, they do. Right, let's have a look what they are. Right, they're a, cho they're a chocolate coated, right? So they're like a shortcake biscuit. They've got toffee in the middle then they're coated with chocolate. Look at that, look at that, look, 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 look. That's proper, isn't it? Let's have a, let's, let's taste. Mmm. They're rather nice, they are, toffee bobs. Now they're a little bit fat, I'm afraid. They're looking like 5.7 grams of fat, 8% your daily recommendation per biscuit. Toffee filled biscuits with chocolate flavored coating, that's what they're called. 
Lion's Biscuits, Toffee Pops. Look at that, look, look. That's toffee in the middle there. Sandwiched in between, milk chocolate, and like a shortcake biscuit base. Mm. Gotta have a cup of tea. First cup of tea while it's running around between lakes, isn't it? Right. See what the dunkability's like. Oh yeah. That's a nine out of ten for dunkability. Mmm. Now, I'm strong go monk though, look. Let's see if he likes it. Let's have a look. Let's see. Oh look, yeah. He's woken up, look. Let's see, it's breaking art rim. Look at that, it looks just breaks apart. What do you reckon? Out of ten? Hey? Hey? He didn't eat it. That is a first, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, he was just playing hard to get, wasn't he? I couldn't believe what I was seeing then. He turned his nose up it. He must have thought there was something better coming along afterwards. Last bit for him. Look at that, he rather likes them, doesn't he? Right, there you go, guys. These are your biscuit of the week, Toffee Pops. Check them bad boys out. I hope you enjoyed that biscuit of the week. Sun is just about to go down. What a hectic day it's been. From one lake to another lake, from one swim to another swim, rods out, spot in, sorted, biscuit of the week. <laughs> look at him in there, look. Look at him in there, look. Bless his little cottons, eh? He's still not well, poor thing. He's limping a little bit. So we have to go back to the vets next week. We may have to have a hip replacement, the poor old pork chop. A new pork chop leg. God, look at him looking, look. He knows I'm talking about him. He's normally running around all over the place. Couldn't believe he didn't want that biscuit, first of all. Now that did shock me. I tell you, because he normally gannets everything. Look at the lake, look. Let's have a look down here, look. Look how beautiful that looks. Let's have a look, look. Look how beautiful, look. What a beautiful spring evening. Look, the sun's going down over there. Won't be long before it's dark o'clock, and hopefully this lake might chuck one up for me in the old pork chop. It'd be nice to have one after all the effort we've done moving around. It's looking rather good out there. I'm going to get the kettle on, get me dinner on early night, and then up early o'clock in the morning, up by about five, just on first light. See if anything's showing, and get the waders on. Get ready, locked and loaded, ready to see if we get a bite or not. Well, I hope you enjoyed the vlog so far. We go into our final night. Hopefully I will see you in the night, early morning with one. If not, see you tomorrow, guys. Well, good morning. Quiet night last night, not a lot happening. Sun's just come up about an hour ago. Looking nice out there, wind's starting to blow in a little bit. Let's have a look out there, look. Wind's starting to blow in. Rods have remained motionless. No liners, no bleeps. Got up first light. Haven't seen anything at all. Nothing at all this morning, which surprises me. After seeing them, two or three fish bow waving on the top over the spots. I thought putting a little bit of that spob mix out there might have enticed them to drop down. 
shame I've got to go actually in the next hour or so, start wrapping up in a minute. So I feel like we've got a little bit of rain coming in tonight and this wind's gonna get a little bit stronger. Might push them to have a little feed, but there's always next week, isn't there? So that's it, me, now, to be done, to pack up the next hour, to be gone, to come back for the next vlog. So guys, thanks for watching. See you for the next vlog.